Yo, what's up guys? It's Vader and I'm back with another NECA figure for you guys today and it's another Terminator figure that I have for you guys. It's the Terminator 1 police, police shootout version, I guess you could call it. It's not actually got a name, it's just basically um, Terminator T-800. But I am um, battle damage, but it's basically the police shootout version as seen like near the end of the movie and you've got like some cool box art some prototype images there of the actual figure itself that scene when he's like repairing his eye in the mirror and stuff and the damage the more damaged head there as well really nice box art as well well like the blacks and the reds and the like the blues and stuff Obviously, you've got the Terminator inside it. All these um, accessories and these guns and stuff there. So he's pretty much caked with stuff. So we'll, we'll, what we'll do now is we'll get a bit that I've gotten out of the box, and these accessories are all here. We can take a look at some of the extra heads that are included with this figure. I do have to say, they are painted amazingly. So this is the um, end OI version, I guess you could say. Really nice detail and overall shine on the eye. Forgot to mention as well, I have done some repainting on the blood and the eyes on both of the um, damaged heads. But there, it wasn't really that much that needed painting, but you guys can kind of see. So that's the slightly damaged head. This is the more damaged head near the end. And I put a little varnish and a little blood on this one. So with the other one to like make it more shiny and obviously more. Um, Gory because if it's on his hair and stuff, and it looks it looks the part. I really did a good job on that. One thing that I really do have to break um, commend Nick I thought is the fact that they actually went that extra mile with this one. Um, never actually noticed it until I was actually um, watching the film again. You get these extra hands here that are the more damaged hands as well which are painted really, really well. Um, one of his three accessories as well as his um, revolver that he uses, which is painted, painted very nicely. And the other battle damaged arm, or hand, should I say. And the other two accessories are actually on the figure right now, which is right here. And I've painted the magazine and the lower part as if he's got a, like the bullets in it and stuff to make it more accurate. And I was a little bit of a shit in the shotgun as well. But moving on to the actual figure now, he is amazing. <laughs> my first, this is like my first, well, my second Terminator figure that I actually got. And I have to say, Nick had done an amazing job of um, capturing, obviously, the likeness of Arnold in Terminator 1. You've got the blood marks on there, and the bullets have obviously passed out of them as well. Added some blood on it as well, and some uh, varnish on it to make it more um, realistic looking. As if they're like, just like fr flesh, like done. Same with like the, the torso there as well. I've added like some blood in there as well. As if they're like fl um, fresh wounds. But there's one thing that I really have to commend NECA for doing that I actually re had to re watch Terminator 1 for. They actually went the extra mile of making. Um, sculpt on these ones more, um, I don't know how I would explain it, they actually made the sculpts more um, pale and I, I watched the film again and I, I really do notice it, you really do notice it near the end when obviously he's 
um, being shot and stuff, you would really notice that when he's like telling the guys like fuck you asshole or he's like looking more like that but the, the damage die. You really look at it and you see that he's at the skin is actually starting to rot a bit and it shows on like not really these ones but mainly these two because of obviously um, how they've painted it and I really have to commend Necker for that because it really does look more um, realistic looking. And some of the poses you can get in this guy are pretty cool. I've been doing some poses with them before I did this with you. And I've got another Terminator video coming up. some poses with them and I'll show you guys a look at um, some of those poses. So yeah, here's one of the poses. He's like holding the two guns. Just like he did at the end of the movie. Which I love. I love that whole sequence when he just gets in at the um, police station and he's just like an unstoppable force. It's like what Kyle Reese says, you can't be bargained with, you can't be reasoned with. Absolutely will not stop until you are dead. Now nah, that's right. Absolutely beautiful piece. And for the price that I paid for it as well, I'm really happy on it because it was a, a steal for the price that I got it for. Rather than spending how much it is at retail value. And the articulation on them is um, pretty decent. But the arm articulation could be a little bit better. That's my only one complaint. So that you can like have more um, dynamic posing with them. You can't really have them like holding the guns. He only basically holds. Not really holding the guns, sorry, like hold, like one hand on the obviously the trigger and then obviously the arm on like the hand on the barrel. You can't really do it with this one. You're basically just meant to have them holding the two fucking guns, which is pretty awesome in itself. But like I said, the articulation is okay. The leg articulation is pretty decent um, here as well, and obviously you can get some ankle articulation as well. Sorry, not ankle articulation, like about here, there's articulation. Packed with articulation, just not the best, but you do get your money's worth anyway with the poses that you can do that are like obviously iconic to the Terminator. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up and get straight on to the other one. So, as ever, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my review on the hot, uh, <laughs> hot toys, the NECA police shootout version of the T800. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Cheers. Thanks.